Hola, this is Mitch Harris from Napalm Death, and you're listening to Rock'em Radio. How many times did you play here in Latin America? Oh, Latin America? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. A lot of, a lot of time. Well, uh, maybe more. Mexico. <laughs> oh, Mexico. To me, Mexico is like America. America yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Latin America, yeah. Latin America. No, yeah. you know, like what? Brazil, uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, uh, El Salvador, and Venezuela, and uh, Buenos Aires, Belo Horizonte, Caracas. Um, Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, wow. Cascavel, a little place. Yeah, mucho, mucho. <laughs> it's okay, it's bien. Very um, special people, very fanaticos. <laughs> mucho fanaticos. Mucho fanaticos. Yeah. So, um, Ecuador. Yeah, very good. Yeah, this is your second, your second time here in Lima. El Segundo. El segundo. El segundo. <laughs> you know, it sounds like a uh, Mexican, Mexican restaurant, El Segundo. I know. Well, you know, I'm, Port I'm Puerto Rican Italian, so. <laughs> <laughs> a, a real American. Yeah. Where are you from? Las Vegas. Ah, oh, Las Vegas. Yeah. New York. Mm -hmm. Born in New York. Grew up in Las Vegas. Tell me, bitch. Well, what about the, the way to, uh, to the fanatic of Nepal that precedes your, your last album? I think uh, very good, yeah. Um, the past five years have been um, building and building and many people are excited about the music. So uh, We are also excited about the music, so it's, it's uh, very fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's almost two years now since the release. Yeah. And uh, or the making, the recording and shit. So oh, okay. it's like um, there's still many songs we would like to play live, but we don't have time to rehearse because we're always on tour. <laughs> and uh, so when when will we can expect the new album? Maybe next September. Uh, in a year, October. Well, I mean, uh, if we record in April, then yeah. All that bullshit, it takes so much time to come out, you know, preparation for the record industry, <laughs> you know. It, it, it's tough right now, the record industry. Yeah, it's good. It's dying, finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not an easy... It doesn't affect us, because uh, we just tour anyways. Um, we never make money from records, really, just a little bit to survive for the time that we make it <laughs> during that period and then then we uh, have to be away so. wow Typical. so you've been playing uh, 18 years you told me yes yeah. uh, so which was the difference on the, the heavy metal in this moment you know 18 years ago to now 2007 yeah. what are the differences yes. there were uh, many more good bands then <laughs> And now there's uh, many more bands, but only some good. So how do you see the future of metal? Very productive, very uh, commercial. <laughs> you know, for the, the new people of the MySpace page, they don't know the history, so... Oh, high, can, high transit. Yeah, it's okay for some bands, but uh, for us, we just do the same. It doesn't affect us. Yeah. It's good communication for our friends, and that's it. Yes, <laughs> Nepal did have has his own community. We have our own history. We don't need that shit. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the new bands? Like you know, it's the Ballad for Valentine, Ballad for Valentine tribute. Yeah, it's okay, man. It's for okay. somebody else, nice people and uh, interesting for some people, but for me, uh, I don't really follow it so much. Um, I think it's good that there's some bands playing metal and having a big exposure, so that's great for the music. Not for me, but for people, you know, young kids to be exposed to something that's not R&B pop shit, it's better. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, all the crowd are different, you know, in, in each continent. Uh, how, do you, how do you describe the... Uh, the crowd here in, in South America. Well, 
in uh, all Latin countries, um, people appreciate this faster music for some reason. They like the rapido. Um, I think it's this, the pace of life is faster hmm? near the equator, and it's just more appreciated, more respect. And uh, in South America, Latin America, Central America, it's uh, people are more <laughs> maybe more hungry for this kind of music. And so much love for the music. Yeah, yeah but and there's not so much chance to see the bands. You know, they come once. I mean, sometimes Napalm Death was the first band to play here, and many bands follow. You know, mm -hmm. and we come five years later, and there's the crowd is like very small. Be but the first time is very big and now there's more bands and people can't afford it and people grow up and have kids and families and jobs and they don't care okay like everywhere else <laughs> yeah it's like berlin and london there's two thousand fucking shows a, a month you know okay. and people come but then people don't care sometimes too it's like after a while if you play there too much it's the same shit so to play here again we'll see manana if peru is better I think maybe it's better this time because I can see uh, at the, the record store that many people are still excited and maybe more people know and more people believe that we will play like the first time nobody believed that, that it was possible or something so um, I don't know people are more hungry here and maybe a little too crazy man <laughs> but not today but tomorrow once they start drinking beer and getting fucking crazy <laughs> You know, it's, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. Uh, well, I wish you the best for tomorrow. Thank you. The gig, and, and I know, and everybody knows, you're never the proud. No? no, we try our best, even if we're tired. <laughs> <laughs>